My, my yeah. question is going to be more on the business side of the things. Um, I'm an old dot com head that retired and then got back into this stuff. Unfortunately, using uh, VV was one of them. Um, so I'm I'm in it. I've been in it. I don't have a ton of stuff. I only got a few sets and some collectibles, but I'm playing. So my concerns are, from a business standpoint, you have more IP than anyone else. I clearly see the vision, but knowing the dot-com world and knowing how fast, as you described, it's moving, and also to dovetail off the second gentleman's question before, um, you're, you're kind of in a position where it's almost like you're playing with new people but also being looked at by old people i.e. all of your stuff sitting on AWS, are you going to be able to maintain the beast while riding on them and also still grow yourself before you actually get forced into a position of sell or expand a little bit faster than you want to? And I think, I, I know you have things you can't say, but I, I hope you can at least push upon this some some re, uh, some re energy for me to keep a hold of. Thank you for your time. Yeah, th- yeah thank you for that. Um, so, um, you know, if you heard early on about my story uh, i've been in the retail for 25 years and that store that i started in 1996 97 i still own and control the chain 100 i'm not a comp um I, i'm not a flipper i'm you know uh, you know i i run business from day one and i i, I go all the way as deep as i can obviously the business that we are in now um, blockchain or NFT is a very fast moving aspect from our commercial side of business it's all about scaling and in, ensure that uh, we can meet our milestones we are looking to open additional offices once um, you know this pandemic is over that we will you will see us have presence in almost every continent eventually that's where we see it um, AWS just is one of our many many providers and, you know, we do not allow any of our providers to walk over us. And trust me, um, we review every position every time. Um, they, they work perfect for us right now. Uh, and they're a good partner because a lot of synergy and they're putting a lot of their resource in their hand to help us to grow as well. We, we never go through just like any startup and we face many problems in speed, latency, like what people have been talking about bots and all that and we just need time to fix these issues up uh we we do have a lot of good advice from companies out there that provide these type of servers and we are new to it i mean if if you sit down with me and dan and if if we're just in a coffee or in a bar and truthfully you know we just wanted to build a little app that sells some digital nft collectibles i just want to sell batman that's what we wanted to do. We didn't know uh, things was going to be selling out 0.1 of a second and having like 1.5 million uh, data calls on Amazon every second. We didn't know that. I mean, honestly, um, you know, you guys, the community have over, you know, you know, beyond our expectation where we are today. And I want to thank you guys all. And, you know, and that that's why I wanted to be in here today to just listen and talk to you guys all in a smaller group um, and answer some of these questions. Uh, rest assure you that we do have a long map um, and we do see flaws in our system and we also do have a lot of innovations and dreams that we want to build in here. And we're not going to be quitting or selling to someone um, so, so that dream can be shelved elsewhere. So I'm going to leave it with this, David. What are the chances? What is the likelihood of an acquisition by a larger company? I'm not going to name any names. Do you believe that something's possible? And would you say that that is something you see happening in the next, let's say, 12 to 24 months? No, not really. I mean, um, we, 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 you know, we stopped taking phone calls, to be very honest with you, um, because, pe- <laughs> yeah, because pe- people don't really understand why we're doing this. Um, you, you have to understand, um, me and Dan, we, uh, we, we struggle a lot through, through this four and a half year journey, um, a lot more than, you know, we, one day we'll do a Netflix or a book or a documentary about it. You know, we went through a lot of pain 
um, to be where we are today. And, you know, all this will come out as a story. Um, we, you know, for a number of years, we didn't take any money for salary. You know, we we lived very limb and lean, trying to get past every hurdle. Um, and it, it's a, like anyone, it's a dream project. And I love collecting and it's my soul. Every Everything you see in, in the app now is basically creation of me and Dan orchestrating and curating every collectibles. We spend midnights, you know, at midnight before I go to bed or even sometime even early in the morning, we get, get up and we talk about what should we roll out, what's a good idea, what do people want to see. Uh, there's just so much soul in it. I, you know, I don't think anyone understands us, um, the pain we went and the, the sheer and the blood and tear that we have put into this app. And we will let our community down if we, you know, just bail and, and walk away or sell. So definitely nothing in the horizon. And as I say earlier, you know, we stopped taking phone calls. But in in a way, we we do need to scale. We do need to, you know, ensure that the longevity of the business is going to be there. Um, so uh, we, we are going to, you know, possibly we might acquire other people in the coming um, months or year um, to scale what we want to do. We we do have big dreams. Uh, Reverend Alex, did you have something you wanted to say, man? Did you want to take the reins of this? Bro, I got a newfound respect for what you do in these spaces. Good God Almighty, bro. <laughs> Yo, I, I'm, I'm in these spaces a lot. And, you know, it, it's, as David said, it's, it's, a, it's a learning experience. And I am, you know, as, as the marketing guy, I'm only here to learn and, and feel out the community because, you know, if you're not part of the community, then you can't understand the community. And I hope you guys realize, listening to my boss talk here, that why I consider this a career-defining role for me. I am so excited and, and just blessed to be part of this project. Outside of the reason, you know, of how well it's doing, it's just there's an actual passion behind it that like cannot you cannot just go to any CEO of a company on on the verge of you know of a new technology and and get the kind of stories that you have. And I've been around the block. I've been in music. I've been in startups, and I have to tell you that look, honestly, I've not felt this good about what I'm doing as a job in a long time. And it just doesn't feel like a job that way. So thank Thanks, you, Alex. David, for taking yeah. the time, A. And then you... my, so my question is, um, when marketing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, yeah. I, I, I just want to add a little bit about uh, what Alex say. Um, so you guys understand. Uh, eight, maybe 80 or 90% of the employees or contractors, even 90% of the employer contractor at Vivi or Ecomi, uh, myself and Dan have never met physically. And mm -hmm. it just shows you the fast, how fast the world is, has moved. You know, back, back in the day when I hire another store manager or assistant, I will sit there, I'll do two or three interview. All that's gone. You know, just we you know, we go out of the way to find the best people that connect with us and you know, and we're very, very lucky to find Alex 